Hi my YouTube family, today is Thursday. I am super, super happy to be uh, here with you guys tonight to talk about a few topics that I've been meaning to address this week, but I've been super, super busy at work this week. I have not been able to scratch my head. So today's the day, I love Thursdays. Thursdays to me is one of my favorite nights, days, because it's closer to what? Friday. So I kind of have a few things for us to discuss tonight. Tomorrow, I'm six weeks post-op. I had plastic surgery with Dr. Tanya Medina over in Santa Domingo. I had it on April 5th. I had a tummy tuck, muscle repair, lipo, upper, lower, back, flanks, inner thighs, and a mild BBL. So as a result of being six weeks post-op, we have a lot of things to talk about. And today, I'm going to touch on compression i'm going to touch on what am i currently using i'm going to talk about um how i'm feeling and um some other stuff anyhow so how am i feeling i have to admit today i am feeling great i'm feeling great inside and out what does that mean well it means that today for some reason when i woke up my interior of my body felt well it felt like i'm ready and it's funny because tomorrow marks my six week mark and you know according to dr medina's schedule at the six week mark you can resume having intercourse maybe that's why my interior feels so good did i wait six weeks no anyhow so but uh, uh i'm grateful and i'm humbled that as of today my interior feels great and also I'm also happy to report that my um, uh, wound not wound or exit site for my drain is now healed I'm just waiting for the scabs to kind of phones dying I'm just waiting for the scabs to kind of fall off and then I'll be able to start scar therapy so what have I been using on my tummy tuck scar I've been using bio oil one morning in the mor in the nights I use bio oil on my tummy tuck scar and in the morning I use rose hip oil that's what I use uh, these two items I pretty much purchased them on Amazon and um, the rose hip oil, according to my surgery buddy Tash, it stains your clothing a little bit. So make sure that whenever you use this item, you use it with a dark color tank. Okay. And what else have I been using? I'm still using some arnica from time to time on my back or my inner thighs. That's still a little bit hard. You know, I use it to try to massage those areas out to help me from time to time. So in terms of creams and lotions, that's all I'm currently using. Um, the aloe did in fact work on my incision incision scar, not my incision, my um, drain site um, scar to kind of close that area up rather rapidly. So I have to give shouts out to my massage therapist who recommended for me to use that. So um, thanks, Johanna. Okay, so what is compression? compression is pretty much something that I never really thought of I never thought of what compression is because the mere fact is all I was thinking was I'm gonna go to DR I'm gonna have surgery and I'm gonna get off the table and I'm gonna look fine and I'm gonna probably have to wear a faha and don't worry about anything like all I need to do is just get my butt back home and then once I get home I'll put on clothes and I look fine uh, no well what happens is your body tends to pretty much get swollen after any surgery and what you're gonna have to do especially when it comes to plastic surgery and your body just went from type A to now type B you're pretty much going to have to take care of it and you're gonna have to take care of it from a three to six months period and then at the six month mark is when you're truly gonna see your true results so well how do I take care of it how do I keep my body compressed keeping your body compressed with a compression garment is pretty much What's going to provide you with a better result rather than a negative result? In addition to diet and exercise and not eating the same hamburger that you normally eat on a Friday night or those Mexican tortilla chips 
or those margaritas okay so in addition to your compression garment which you pretty much have to wear like 24 hours out of the day whether you wear one in the your hardest faha the more compressed faha during the day and your less compressed faha at night whatever variation you choose you're gonna have to keep your body compressed you're gonna have to keep your body compressed in order to reduce the swelling of the areas that you pretty much just worked on and then before you know it then your true results will come through so what have I been using to keep my body compressed to be honest keeping your body compressed is going to be a trial and error situation like some days you're gonna be more swollen than, than other days some days you're not gonna know what to do you know how do I keep my compression down well this is why I have surgery buddies because we pretty much round table these things whenever we have issues and now we're having the same issues so pretty much uh, you have to become creative so remember these pads that we the poise pads I'm going to tell you what works for me or what I've noticed been working for me um, these long poise pads pretty much what I have been doing this week that I've seen a major difference in my body is in terms of compression is the areas that I feel that I still that still hurts to touch that simply means that I need an adequate amount of compression in those areas so pretty much on my faja like this is this area for me is a concern like right back here so I pretty much just stick these pads I am wearing some ace bandages at the moment and I'll explain why later and um, I'll just stick them onto my faja in certain areas and they're pretty thick so they are going to provide me with adequate compression I've actually learned this in the DR so this side also where I'm having an area with having an issue with and I'm also having an issue with my upper and my lower back the areas where act that was actually lipoed so I pretty much just put one across my back and my lower back then what I'll do is I'll put my faha on I'll also add one like in the center here then I'll add my foam and then I'll add my board and then I'll add my faha on and I get ready and I go to work yes it's a process it takes me about 15 minutes extra to get all this compression done and I do feel like a stuffed turkey during the day but at the same time by the time I get home and I take everything off I'm evenly compressed which means I just don't I'm just not compressed half here and this you know in the middle and then he, to my left and to my right is still swollen so pretty much you're gonna have to try to provide yourself with an adequate amount of compression across the board as well as your back in order for you to get the true results that you really need um, I have even become creative where I've cut uh, a foam in half and I put them on either side and then I'll put um, this in the middle so it kind of looks like it's all the way around so I have like no um, area for it not to be compressed and then I've pretty much put my faha on you're gonna have to try whatever works for you I'm just explaining to you exactly what works for me um, pretty much why am I wearing the ace bandages I actually wear the ace bandages from time to time uh, one of my surgery buddy Tash told me about it so we pretty much have purchased the large um, ace bandages off of Amazon and what happens is um, like today for example I wore everything today uh, all the compression that I just mentioned I wore it today but I forgot to put my ad board on did I really forget? I may have forgotten or I may was just, I perhaps was just sick of wearing everything today and I needed a break. Sad mistake because what happened was all of the, my left and my right were completely compressed but in my middle where my belly button was, it was not. So I looked like totally uneven. uneven. So I went ahead and I got the ace bandages which I keep them in the freezer according to my, my massage therapist who suggested. I kept them in the freezer I came home and I immediately put it on over my tank because if you don't put it over something you're gonna become really itchy and irritated and you don't want that so um, I'm gonna keep it on for a few and then I'm gonna take it off and then I'm gonna go ahead and do my nightly regimen which is of course take a shower do my bio oil and um, 
add my compressions again I sleep in them at night and as well as I'm gonna remove these ace I'm gonna put my faha on take these ace bandages off and wrap my inner thighs uh, with the ace bandages over my faha I started doing that and I've seen great results my inner thighs are actually going down so that's what I have been doing in terms of trying to keep compressed as much as possible unfortunately we're gonna have to do this for a long extended period of time and at this point I feel that my faha is a little bit big because I'm now on the third hook with all my compressions on and I feel I'm in a happy place you're not supposed to be in a happy place with your faha that means it's too loose um, in terms of um, what else um, how am I feeling no I already, I already spoke about that oh I wanted to say thank you guys so much for embracing my video about being kind to your fellow man your fellow woman that is going through the surgery journey it doesn't matter um, what religion what race what um, uh, gender gay lesbian bye thank you guys so much for embracing that i've received great great feedback on that video and you know we're here for each other we're here to help each other we're not here to discriminate in no way shape or form i wanted to say to all my uh newly um surgery buddies that had surgery this week that had surgery last week that had surgery the week before welcome welcome to the flat side it's a journey that like no other but as long as we're here for each other and we're here to answer each other's questions and help each other's out er, help each other out we'll definitely see great progress um i might show you guys my scar real quick to see what i'm working with but let's see if i can okay so i have on my ace bandages see my booty um take it off let's take it off take it off I think this is another one okay let me make sure that you guys don't see see you could hardly see it I, I put this on today because I was kind of like bending and whatever. I didn't want my scalp to come off. Overall, everything. See, I told you guys the square that I had today. So my left side, using the bandages has really softened it up a bit. So tonight, all I would do is just take my bio oil and rub it on like so. Left to right that's it left to right see um, um, my inner thighs so That is what I'm looking like at six weeks post up. I must say, I went shopping um, two days ago and I found pleasure, and I'm sorry, but I'm going to relish a little bit. I found pleasure in going in that fitting room and trying on a few pieces and was able to see an hourglass figure with no stomach and a booty. So I just wanna let you guys know it's coming for you. <laughs> if you have not done it yet, it's coming. You know, I'm here for you if you have any questions, any concerns and stay beautiful. But I have one more thing. This is what I have been using. Um, my desk is so messy. This is what I have been using uh, from time to time to help me massage my sides, 
uh, that are just hurting as I'm doing this, as well as my back. I turn it on. So this has been helping me a lot. I got it on Amazon when I came back from DR, um, and it's been helpful. And of course, my back scratcher, people. I cannot stress how great this back scratcher is. Like, it is heaven to me. I have been sleeping a lot more without having feel without feeling the need to get up and relocate at nights. That means I guess I'm getting better. Um, I can sleep on my left side if I want to. But I have not been because I'm waiting for my right side to kind of completely heal. And then I'm going to attempt to sleep on my stomach. Ooh, I want to see how that's going to work. But I'll keep you guys posted. Until next time, please continue to be an inspiration to other others. Please continue to attempt to search for Surgery Buddy via the Surgery Buddies instagram page i notice i've seen you guys made connections i've tried to make connections for you guys um so uh we do our best my surgery buddies and i to post lovely motivational quotes for you guys as well as there's a banner that is on the surgery buddies page that if you guys have any questions, any concerns, you guys are more than happy to ask us. And if we have pretty much experienced it, um, you will definitely get an answer for us. If not, we'll definitely try to get the answers for you. You may not only get responses from me, you may also get responses from Tash or from T because they also monitor that page as well. Um, and it would be great to get uh, different perspectives from different people because how I may, what I may be experiencing, Tash may not be experiencing, what I may be experiencing, T may not be experiencing it. Um, until next time, guys, take care of you. Try to find yourself a surgery buddy. Once you've made a deposit and you've had a date, go ahead over to the surgery buddies page and um, indicate your surgery date, doctor, recovery house under the banner that applies to your surgery month if for whatever reason the surgery month is not there just let us know and we'll go ahead and immediately add it for you okay so thanks for watching i'll talk to you guys soon see i got my fitbit on at eight weeks i will be resume exercising okay bye guys